y'all. I'm Lisa. And I'm Megan. And we're the Sassy Southern Stitchers. And we're back again. Floss tube number seven. Number seven. Lucky number seven. Woohoo! I'm ready for some good luck. I need all the luck these days. So what's been going on? Everything. Everything's been going on. Everything. Everything. She's in senior mom mode. Yes, we've had a lot. Um, seems like we've been extra busy for the past couple weeks. Yeah, running around, going to Baton Rouge. Yeah, we did that during spring break for Cutter to finalize his college stuff. Get his col get his uh, student ID, make sure everything was turned in for his um, schedule that's going to be coming out in April. So that's exciting. and That's crazy. That seems so soon. They do everything so soon. And you know what I thought was weird is back when we were in school, you would have to go in and like select your teacher, the time, all the things. And it was a whole algorithm to make sure you got whoever but um they do all the scheduling for you these days you just basically tell them what you want they make it work and that's that and they figure it out for you yeah which that's makes nice. it a little nice so yeah that's nice there's that it's um, a gray day look very how gray like womp womp it looks out there yeah we've got um storms coming in tonight fun no and um, we've had our, we're having our roller coaster weather. It was like 80 degrees, now back down to 60. Stormy one day, sunny the next. It was sunny this morning, bright and sunny, and now it's I just know. nasty. Ugh. So I've been doing a lot of yard work. That's not fun. I know. I saw one of those gross, creepy crawlies. I don't even want to talk about it. Yeah, yesterday. And that kind of ended my yard work fun. Um, what else has been going on? I feel like we've gone everywhere. Beckett and I have been doing things. We went and saw Beetlejuice, oh, yeah. the musical, which was phenomenal, except it had a lot more sexual content and vulgarity than what I had anticipated. Oh. <laughs> and so a lot of it was quite a shocker. It was a good show, but... Mm, Some parts could have been left out. Many parts could have been left out. I always kind of feel that way when I see musicals, because I'm like... I want it to be family friendly, and then it's just not. Yeah, I mean, well, there was a lot of sexual innuendo in that, and even the movie. If you rewatch, well, I know you've seen the movie a thousand times, but Will watched it, and he was like, <laughs> you know, of course, he's some of it now he would probably get, but this was several years ago. He was like, "What? I don't understand," and I'm like, "Yeah, you don't." Need to yeah, understand that. a lot of movies like that I watch as an adult, and I'm thinking. My parents let me watch this as a kid, but... I know. I know. Almost everything I feel like we start watching thinking, this was such a great movie. And then we're like, what happened to the ratings? Yeah. <laughs> um, Beckett's starting um, Driver's Ed soon. So one of my rites of passage that I do with my kids when they're fixing to start driving is I make them watch... Um, License to Drive yes. with Corey Hammond and Corey Feldman <laughs> and all my other three kids they enjoyed it or whatnot and Beckett was like this is the stupidest movie and how is this he rated PG-13 like no he's like how is this rated PG-13 they just said a lot of bad words and I got tickled I'm like things are I don't know this things was the have 80s changed a bit but I was telling him that the car that he takes his driving test in in the movie was the exact car that I learned to drive on and was he that was the like, grandpa's car no, no it was um Sorry, I remember allergies. the grandpa. Didn't he have like an old LTD? Yeah, he had, no, he had a Cadillac something or another. Oh, yeah, that's right. But um, no, the, it was like a Ford Escort, a little four speed. When he drove with um, the instructor that Did was the dad. Did it have the seat belts that like were yes. automatic? Yes. Yes. When you open the door, yeah. they move. That's so funny. That's so such a funny thing. Yeah. So that was my last one. We watched that movie. So. Aw. Yeah. Will and I had spring break too, but we just took the week off. We didn't go anywhere. We just kind of relaxed. I, like I said, I did some yard work. He played a lot of video games. What else did we do? One day we took an adventure out to the mall, which we rarely ever go. Oh, wow. I, I can't even tell you the last time before that that we went to the mall, but Tyler had some shoes that he needed to return, so we went, and the highlight of the adventure was... Um, now I'm sitting here thinking, what was the highlight of the adventure? I feel, I feel like it was food related. But Will was just like amazed because, you know, it's funny to say that, but, you know, he's 12 now, but like 
the world kind of shut down in 2020 yeah. and we just kind of stopped going places like that. And even before then, I feel like online shopping was such a presence, but he was like, this place is dead. It was yeah. like, <laughs> so many things have changed even since we were teenagers. So he went in the, um, he went, there was like a little toy store in there. That was probably... I haven't seen a toy store in forever. It was... We're seeing, like, KB toys in the mall. And... Yeah, but this was, like, junky. Sorry. It's just not the same. It was, like... $5 toys that didn't fall apart on it, the way home. Well, a lot of it was, like, collectible stuff, actually. But it was, like, Pokemon and those Funko Pop things. Oh, yeah. And I don't know. Anyway. It wasn't toys, like, in the sense of, like, a toy store. Like... Yeah. Beckett was bummed that he didn't get to go anywhere for spring break fancy because all of his friends were traveling the they world. Were. And it's wild to me. And I said, well, we went to Ikea. And then all <laughs> everything there is made in Sweden. And so he tried a meatball, which the kid doesn't eat meat. So I was shocked for that. I was like, oh, that's Did like, he like, like it? food testing. No, he said it was awful. So he said, how are these world famous? <laughs> well, I think you gotta like meat before you can enjoy a meatball of all things. But he did enjoy the chocolate cake. Mm. Imagine that. Yeah. Well, that's hard to beat. Chocolate cake. Although Will told me today that, um, what did he tell me? Oh, geez. What is wrong with my memory and my brain? He told me, I think he said chips. Chips were better than chocolate cake, better than chocolate. He loves salty things. So I was like, chips are really not very good for you, Will. <laughs> There's a lot of preservatives in chips. He was like, I don't care. They're so good. <laughs> HB has a lot of um, new chip flavors right now. They're all gluten free. Oh, they're really? A lot, they have one called Cheeseburger, and it's just like what? eating a hamburger from McDonald's. You can taste the mustard, the ketchup, the whole nine yards. It's really good. Well, maybe try. We need to try those. I, I need to go to HB. I can't wait till they get that one close to us built. Yep. Well, what else? Oh, I made corned beef and cabbage for um, St. Patrick's Day. What else did I do? I went to the library Stitchers meetup. You weren't able to come that day, but Katie from So Tattered joined us and her mom. That was super fun. Um, and I've only gotten to go to Stitch Niche, I think, once in the last month, which is so sad. I haven't been since, I don't think, since Christmas. And I'm Well, I don't think I had been since that time when I did go. It had been a long time. I miss my Stitchy friends, guys. Mm, I know, me too. Hopefully but, next week, maybe, depending. Yeah, that'd be good. I don't know what I have going on yet, but... I know. I hopefully, don't we can make at, it before we leave. Don't even look at the calendar, right? For Stitch West. So. That'll be good, yeah. So, what else? You had something special you wanted to show us, I think. Oh, yeah, we were going to do things Speaking in a little of bit. Stitch West. Yeah, we're going to do things a little bit. Throw out of something order. in out of order um, this week because we thought it was kind of fun, but... We know that all stitchers love cool new things, and we thought this was a cool new thing, so we wanted to share with you guys. Um, and I, I have the best friend in the whole world because she spoils me with all the cool things. Seriously. I just think it's fun when we can find things that make it easier for us to um, carry all our stuff conveniently. So, I guess, what was it, about a year, maybe two ago, where we went and bought the original um, bog bags? If you don't know what a bog bag is, these are little bog bags. Yes. And we like them very well. They do very well for us to put our um, trays in, our project bags and stuff. Whenever we go to the library and um, the Stitch Niche, and cram your lamp in there, all the things. Yeah. And the material is pretty light, so it's, you know, not real hard for me to carry and stuff. Washable. Yes. They're really kind of beach bags, but we found them to work pretty great for yes. stitching. But yes. we're getting ready to travel on an airplane again. And, and the last time we traveled, where, where did we go? Stitch New England. Um, since Lisa and I stitched with a wooden tray, and we'll show that in just a second, um, I didn't like putting it in my suitcase. I know, you're worried, worried they're going to yeah. break it, throwing your suitcase around, but then also it's like cumbersome to try to pack it in like a fabric bag. But so, look what Bog Megan Bag found. just released these. They are backpacks. They are square they are um, like a really durable canvas. The bottom is still the bog bag material, so it's um, not going to get frayed or anything. And they will stand up on their own. They have handles up top, so you can carry yeah, them like a bag. Two handles. Um, 
It has a giant pocket in the front to fit all kinds of doodads. Pockets on the sides. The pockets on the sides will not fit like a um, Stanley cup or anything like that. But if you have a slender Yeti or something without a, um, yes, your phone. Uh, or one of holder. these nifty yeah. little things. For your phone. Megan bought us these. We need to add that link because someone was asking me about that the other day. But okay, remind me. If you need a good phone stand or any, yeah, that even holds my iPad. It's so sturdy, but um, yeah, it fits are... right in our tray. So that's that. But um, it'll fit a traditional water bottle in the side pockets and whatnot. The backpack handles on the back are really good and durable. They're padded. Um, so that makes it nice. And so you can carry that on the airplane with your tray. So Lisa, if you'll open that for me um, and show everything that I have stuffed in here, which it realistically is not really stuffed. It's nice no, it's not. fit in there. So this is my bag because I put all my doodads in. And you see how pretty good size it is. It's got my needle book, needle highlighters, all the stuff that you need. You Scissors, know. all that kind of stuff. She's got her folding lamp. Yeah. Travel lamp. Portable. I'm assuming the plug's in here, too. Yeah, it's down there somewhere. A project bag. Which, this is a big size project bag. This yes. is a Hawk Run, so you know those things. It's pretty thick, so that's down in there. 700 glosses to go in there. <laughs> I'm just going to hand it to you. Two more projects bags in there. And... Oh, and also, before we forget, there is an inside pocket as well that's padded so you could put your laptop or iPad, tablet or whatever without worrying about it getting cracked or back. anything okay so i'm gonna put this down now okay so um, i can help you hold it and tray. then also our tray you can hold it up with our little stands and there's my garden goose needle minder and we got these awesome stitching boxes from our friend sherry ward who is on etsy with creative Keep creative Keep studio. studio yes and Everyone asks about asks us about these when we are at retreats because it's so great because it just contains everything. Yes. So you feel like you're not like spreading out too much. Like your little, your, here, I'm going to put this in here. I'm giving you a rest. I know you're getting tired. You're fine. Um, you can set your stand up in here. We use these. These are also from Amazon. Um, we can put the link for these in the description box as well, but your pattern can go on here so you can... Your needle minder stick to it because it's metal. So the, what I usually do is put my scissors, my, my all my doodads up here, and then my stand, and then I also have my little floss bag of trash. Mm -hmm. I put my phone stand in there so it's up so that my phone I can see. You know, it's just right there in front of me. Um, and then behind that, when I stitch with this in my lap, I put my TV remotes and everything behind it. So I have everything um, right there in one little box, and I don't feel like I'm. You know, encroaching Crowded. in people's face as well, because that's always something I hate feeling like I'm doing. No, it's great. It's not even as wide as like a placemat. Oh, Will's being loud today. Um, I guess laughing is permitted, right? Yeah. So what else? Um, I think that's awesome that that all fits in that backpack, and it wasn't crazy heavy. Nope. I'm I could lift it and put it on my back, and I myself, you know, will have issues with heavy things, so... I really like that. Now, I will say that the bag retails for $89.95. Academy has them on sale right now, I think, for $69.95. Um, and if you are looking for one at an Academy, from what I understand, because I had to go to three different Academies to get two of the same color, they come in a variety of color colors. Um, you pretty much got to check because they're selling out like hotcakes. She said, I don't think we've had anything this... Popular. sought after popular in quite some time she's like i don't know why we can't keep them on the shelf so um check but you can order them from bog bag directly they just won't have the sale price i knocked your paper out it's fine would you mind tossing this stuff back in there real quick sure it don't have to be in any order well we'll see about that just kidding is there a test Okay, yes. but you want to keep the project bags, right? Yes, because all my whips that I've been working on are in those project bags. I'm going to set this under the table over here. It's I love that it stands up, too, because of that firm bottom. So you don't have to worry about it tipping over, slumping over. Yeah. It's really great. Good and find. And it'll slide right beside your leg under the table. So, you know, it's not everywhere on the floor. All right, stitching. Let's do some stitching. That's why we're here. We've been busy. Yes. 
We've been, I feel like I've been stitching a lot. What do I want? I'm gonna show this first. So I haven't, I didn't take this out of the hoop. My apologies. I'm actually mid-stitch as well. And that's just the way life goes sometimes. But I was stitching on this, Take Me Out to the Ball Game, which is a little house, needleworks. Oh my gosh, Will's being so loud. And I can't, sorry about that. All right, we're back. Okay, sorry about that. Pause for, I don't even know what. <laughs> Take Me Out to the Ball Game by Little House Needleworks. Remember, I started stitching this after the Rangers won the World Series, so I'm gonna make this a commemorative piece. Um, so, but I just finally got started on the people, and oh my goodness. Can we talk about how many French knots are in this pattern? What am I gonna do? There's no way I can make that many French knots. I was thinking, have you thought about beads? <sighs> oh, that's not a bad idea, although I'm not really like a bead girl, but that sure would be easier. I'm gonna consider that. Especially at least for the popcorn. And the little, I mean, God, there's like 20 some, there's more than 25 French knots on this pattern. That's excessive. All right, so if you've stitched this, tell me what you, if you, if you toughed it out and did all the French knots, congratulations, here's your certificate for <laughs> your French knot course. What else was I going to show? Hawk run. We stitched on this. We had a hawk run zoom with some friends. So we've been getting this out at least once a month. Uh -oh. oh, sorry, this That's is okay. enormous. Maybe I won't hit you in the head with it. Um, I got over to this block and started stitching the livestock auction sign. Um, I think that's really all I worked on. And I was like, that was two hours. Can you believe that just outlining that and that little, and actually I did some of this fill in when I went to the library. So not, that's crazy to think about. So don't ever do that. Don't ever <laughs> sit there and calculate how much time you're spending on whips because your head will explode, right? Yep. So this is the Looking farms good. at Hawk Run Hollow. I'm stitching mine on, I didn't even say that about my other chart. I'm fired. I guess I'm out of practice from um, floss tubing. So this is latte? I'm like, I'm going to need a line. I found a, there actually is still the, the label on it. Latte by Fiber on a Whim, stitched with the call for DMCs. So, um, and I do always put notes about if I've subbed any colors or what I'm stitching on, etc. in, on Instagram. When I post on Instagram, the, um, the take me out to the ball game I'm stitching on Fabrics by Stephanie, which is chocolate milk, is the fabric, and Pretty. Um, all the called for colors, except for, I did sub out for the blue, I'm using Color and Cotton Battleship. I really love that, that navy blue. Um, it's like a navy to, I don't know, fades out to. I ordered me one of those hoops for my pandemic. Do you like I, it? I haven't got it yet. It should be here today. This is a nerd hoop. I love it. I've been using it for mostly that hawk run, but then I got it out. Today, I was car stitching while Will was at um, his golf lesson. Megan, for Christmas, I wish I would have brought it to the table. Next time, I'll bring it so I can show you. She got me this cool little, um, it's like a tray that you hook onto your steering wheel. And so I have this whole little setup going. I'm pretty sure Teresa was the one who recommended that. I can pop in a picture of it. Yeah. Um, because I took a picture while I was sitting in my car telling Megan, I'm stitching while we're at golf lessons. I bought a Lexus one too, and you know how it came with that little thing that connects to it that you put like your sweet and sour sauce, your Chick fil A sauce, or whatever I in it? I was wondering what that was for. You she know what was I like, did? I'm so excited for the sauce thing. <laughs> the sauce, it's like a little cup. I was putting my orts in it. Hey. <laughs> then you just throw them out the window. <laughs> Megan! <laughs> well, don't you know, start that. <laughs> yeah, people will get on to me because it. <laughs> harms the birds. I saw someone talked on Inst or uh, Facebook the other day about they were brushing their husky outside and they were so excited to throw the um, hair for the birds to build nests with. And I immediately knew when I went to the comments it was going to be negativity. And the first 45 on there were like, oh my gosh, you're killing the birds. Your dog's been using flea dip and all the other things. And I'm just like... Flea dip. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> it's all over the grass already. Um... I won't. No, I'm just not even. Shh. 
Not even going to say a word. What else have I been stitching on? Gilmoreisms. You guys, bittersweet. There's only one square one left. So um, I finally got caught up after um, my grandma's um, stay in the hospital. By the way, she is um, still... She's still in the rehab facility, not really doing great. So say some prayers for my grandma. Um, but I finally got caught up on this. I stitched, I don't even remember since last time I showed this. Maybe You've done a lot. All Maybe all three of these. Yale, I Will Always Love You, The Puffs, The Devil Egg. Gosh, I did stitch on this a lot. And then um, this last week, this week was The Deer Hit Me. And then ah, one more, just one more left to go. And this is the Forbidden Fibrico um, kit Gilmerisms, and I'm using all of their Cultlor floss um, from Forbidden Fibrico, as well as their fabric, which is what is this called? Of course, look, I cut it off because I was so tired of the bottom being so long. So I cut off the bottom. It's um, come on, brain. When your brain doesn't work, look at your notes. I made a card for it. I'm just sure. Casablanca. Woo! Look at these note cards coming in clutch. Yep. Okay. So that's all my whips. I had finishes. So I'm going to let you show you whips. And actually, you mentioned you wanted me to hold them up for you, maybe? Maybe. Um, okay. So none of mine are ironed today because most of mine, again, were in the bag so that I could show you what was all in there. So, um... I think this is hysterical because it's like role reversal because she irons everything. She irons t-shirts. We've talked about this before. So one of the, the most thing, so even with my schedule being so crazy with everything going on um, with the kids in the school year, senior graduating, all the things, um, I've been trying really hard to keep stitching um, but I also have pulled out Alexis's quilt that I had been working on for quite some time, and I'm determined to get that fixed. I didn't bring, hopefully next time I can get the, get the quilt top completely assembled and the borders on, so I'll show it, or maybe I'll take a picture and let's put it in. But this is a quilt um, that I've been working on. Um, it is called Midnight Garden by, um, the fabric is by Heather Peterson. And I bought the quilt kit from Fat Quarter Shop, I don't know, a year or two ago. And um, so I'm excited to finally get that off of my sewing table. So I've been really working on it mostly for this time period. Totally adorable. So as far as cross stitch goes, this is This my is a two person whip, I feel. Top run. I've been really working on the borders and just kind of picking here and there. I'm nowhere near as far as Lisa is, of course, but um, it's a good project to just sit and do borders, mindless stitching. Um, I you agree. Know. The only thing is, it's just so much fabric. Like, even taking it in the car, sometimes I feel, like, overwhelmed. But that's where that nerd hoop, I feel like, comes in really clutch, too, because it helps you have, like, a contained stitching area. Yeah. And I've been using those little magnets that, where you can kind of, like, wrap your extra fabric up in. Yeah, I had a handful of those, and I forget where I put them. So I'm going to need to find those before my hoop comes in. Here's some if you need them. Thank you, you're so kind. What are friends for? Another thing um, I've been working on, I'm almost done. I just need to sit down and really just finish it out really quick. Um, is my March weigh-in by Stitching with the Housewives. And it is on, you know what, a piece of um, fabric from Color and Cotton called French Lilac. I believe it was in... I don't remember if I purchased that when we were there or if it was in a monthly subscription, but I've got that much done. Not a whole lot left. Um, you could finish this today if you wanted. If I wanted. i got things to do. I'm kidding with you. Because that's just all. <laughs> I really want to. Me. That's the thing. I really want to. It's so cute. Someone was asking for your colors on this. We need to make sure we put that in. Okay. You know how time just flies by and there's so many things that I intend to do and then doesn't always happen. But I feel like we got a lot accomplished this month. This was really cute. I think we have three weekends left until we leave that next Shh. week for out of town. And I just keep thinking, I've got to make a list. That's going to send me into a tailspin. I think it's going to be cold when we get there. Yeah. I'm pretty sure because I keep looking at their weather and like it's still getting down in the 30s. 
I have something in my eye that is driving me crazy. It's probably pollen. Um, I bought a new mascara. Now, I've never really spent a whole lot of money on mascara. But I tried that new, well, I don't know if it's new, but uh, Estee Lauder Hyper, I don't know, something with an 8 in it. I don't know. It was pretty pricey for my mascara taste. I wore it three times, and I really liked it. And then the fourth time I went to wear it, it was dry as a bone. I don't know how. And it just keeps, it flakes in your eyeballs. So, I don't know if I got a bad tube or what, but... I'll be taking that stuff back. I won't be buying any more. For as much as you spent on it. Yeah. Um, so, my last two whips that I'm going to show, I'm kind of in a dilemma with both of them. Um, the same thing is I'm kind of having a color block. What I'm envisioning in my mind is not coming out in the thread colors, so I keep trying different colors, and nothing's quite fitting. So... I'm she ordered 70,000 different pinks <laughs> yes for my Rosewood Manor I'll show that in a second I did order every pink I could find oh is this not Rosewood no, Manor this no this is it's... my other one this is the waxing oh moon. no it's the other one that's in timeout because it has a color problem so I wanted to talk, talk about that for just a second I feel like this happens sometimes and some in the past I would just forage on and like finish it and then I would be disappointed. I think it's really important if you run into something like this where when you're changing colors or maybe you're not even changing colors but you've stitched something on a different fabric to kind of slow down if something doesn't seem right or doesn't look right and then take your time figuring it out because you put so much into your cross stitch that you want to love it when you're done and certainly not have to be frogging right. a bunch of stuff out. So Yeah, and I've I've, um, it's been really hard, this one and the next one. Um, this is Watch It, Watch it Snow by Waxing Moon Designs. I put in the little snowman. This over here is supposed to be in a brown. I stitched it with a brown, didn't like it, so I tried to stitch it in a, in a black. And I, you know, like a black gray. I didn't like either one of those, so I don't know what I'm going to do there. This, what I envisioned for this green, did not come out, so I tried a little bit darker green. I don't like either one of those. So frustrating yeah I don't know I'm gonna play with it some more with a couple more colors and hopefully something will eventually you know work click yeah. and work tell us what fabric this is that is a dapple um, I remember it because I loved it yes dapple and I've had that for quite some time picture this plus yes so yeah it's so pretty okay thank well, you I know we have several things we need to consult on you don't like the black wording I kind of like that I think I want to go with something that's similar, but just a, not a little less black, a little more gray. Okay. But almost that color. Mm -hmm. Is that the same floss as the mm -hmm. mouth? Mm-hmm. And what's bugging you about the screen? Too much variegation? This is too light in there. I mm -hmm. want it to be more... All... This has a little bit more deeper tones, so I want it a little bit more deep. Mm-hmm. I agree. That's so hard, though. We were We were having several color consults back and forth and I pulled out all my pinks for her to I don't have very many but um, all my fancy floss for her to look at for her Rosewood man Manor it's not Rosewood Manor it is Winter, Winter Rose, Rose Manor. Manor I'm gonna always get the confused okay and I didn't do a good job of holding this up last time so I'm sorry I'm gonna hold it up higher this time so you can see the bottom of it better oh, it's this way oops yes and it's all wrinkly but this is on um, marvelous by uh, Fortnite fabrics 36 count and my pink house I guess I just need to call John Mellencamp and say <laughs> hey what pink house is it supposed to be because I've tried three or four pinks. It's just not coming out what I'm seeing in my mind. Eventually, I'm going to get there, but I know I want a pink house. Um, so, I also stitched some of the door, and I'm not sure if I'm sold on that color, which is what they call for a really dark reddish colored door with a pink house. So, I don't know. I'm going to figure that out. I stitched most of the gate over here. I put in this little um, flower pot with the vines and such in it. Um, yeah. So, I wanted that. to look at it too because we were talking about it and she was sending me pictures. And I mean, I love that color for the flowers. It just got really bright on the door. Mm -hmm. And I see what you mean about the pink. 
I think that hibiscus is real similar, how it goes pink and white, pink and white. Yeah, like, and I feel like it would be an up against that snow. It kind of just gets lost with that white variegation. And that was just way too bright. Yeah, that's Pepto-Bismol looking. We can't have a Pepto house. No. So, I believe that's all my whips that I didn't finish, so. That was a lot. And we have a lot of FFOs and a lot of finishes. Well, yeah. I have a couple finishes. I'll show my finishes. Give you a little break real yes, talking. thank you. So, I um, have been meaning to stitch pillows for dough bowls. Um, I have quite a few stitched. I need to learn how to FFO pillows. So, that is on my to-do list. You're going to need that sewing machine. I know. I've asked for a sewing machine for my birthday. So, hopefully... I will get one. Basically, I just need to order it myself, it sounds like, based on our conversation yesterday with my husband. He was like, you just get whatever you want. I'm just going to send Tyler the link and or post, put a post-it on his car. and That works, too. Um, so, I stitched Emily Call's St. Patty's. Love the colors. And I did use all the Call for DMCs except for she, the green that was called for, um for the words, the letters, um, was actually more of a traditional like clover colored green, like grass green. And I changed it to this sort of, um, seafoam green. Um, and I do have that noted on Instagram or you can ask if you'd like to know what that, um, color was. Of course I have it written down and you know, my notes are buried, but, um, I will look it up for you. <laughs> um, so what else? I stitched it on Bramble by Picture This Plus. It took me a couple days to stitch that. It was super fun. Um, I love her patterns. Um, I've got quite a few more lined up, and you can find her charts on Etsy. She is super sweet, but I had fun stitching that one. Basically stitched it right over St. Patrick's Day. And then, are you ready for it? I can't remember if I showed this on Instagram already. I think I did because I was so excited yeah, when I finally... Did. Got it done, but I finished Matters Choice. So this is Matters Choice by Carriage House Samplings. Um, I've stitched it on um, Tarnish by Picture This Plus. Wow, we have a lot of Picture This Plus fabrics in the works right now. Um, and I used for my floss, it's all one color. I used um, the Gentle Arts carriage black is what it is so i love how it turned out i want to go get this framed um so i've got it here all ironed and ready to go but i want to finish my take me out to the ball game as well so i can take both of those to the framer let me know whenever you're going to go to the framer because i i had planned on sending my um live on little off but i may not do that i may just go with you and see what my options are i want it I want to, I mean, Hobby Lobby has done a really good job on any of the things I've taken them in the past, but I'm thinking I want to do a little bit more upgrade to, I you know. do a lot of my own finishing, but sometimes I would just want something framed, especially like this piece. Cause I do, I mean, to say it's heirloom is like kind of eye roll. Who knows if my family's ever going to be interested in this like later down the road, but it's a piece that I want framed hanging on the yeah. wall, you know, and I want to. I don't know. I want. I think I want a, like a big chunky black frame for this is what I was envisioning. Uh, there was a lady talking on um, Instagram the other day that was saying, you know, in a hundred years, that was her thing. In a hundred years, <laughs> nothing of what you have in life, your house is, no one will live in your home. Your cars will be gone to someone else, you know, whatever. Nothing that matters today will matter in a hundred years. So you'll be long forgotten. And I'm like, I'm going to be putting stickers on the back of all my cross stitch. This better not end up in a Goodwill. <laughs> I will haunt you, right? Something like that. Do you know how many hours I spent on this? <laughs> people have no idea. I think people that don't stitch, they really don't have a clue. I mean, I think, I think my husband and my son know a little bit because they see me stitching. But, um... It's it's a lot, but and we love it. You finish it finishes? I do have or a all finish. FFOs. Um, I have FFOs, but I do have a finish I that I need to do. I, did, I could have done that yesterday, and I just was. I did a lot of FFO in the past couple days. Yeah, so. you did. Don't be don't be um, ashamed of what you didn't do. 
FFO, we'll FFO this later. Yeah. So that's February Cottages by... I, Country gonna, Cottage I don't Networks know or Little House Networks? I, one of the two. And I apologize because I'm going to get them confused. I should have notes written down on that. So I'm sorry about that. Um, these are stitched, I believe, with... Monaco? Called for Colors. And it's on a tea coffee dyed uh, Monaco, yes. Super uh, 28 cute. 28 count. So, Super cute. Well, thank you'll, you. you'll get it done. So You did a lot of finishing, too. Are y'all ready for FFO Palooza? Because it's about to happen. Yeah, we do have a lot this time. I am, like, super proud of myself. I think we both earned a trophy for all our FFOs. Um, I finished five pieces. <gasps> I don't even know how many I did. Well, I'm going to go first. Uh, we'll take turns, maybe. Mm -hmm. Go back and forth. I'm going to show this one first. This is, um... A little house that I got from the Target dollar spot. It looks like it was $3. Um, and I'm stitching all of the little Primrose Cottage houses. It's a series, so they're seasonal. So this is Spring House. Um, I stitched this last year. I had a lot of FFO, or a lot of finished pieces that I just went and grabbed an FFO. Same. Um, we got this fabric at Hobby Lobby. I found this ribbon, I think, at Michael's and these little butterflies. How stinking cute did that turn out? And then um, I want to show you because I did get a ribbon for the winter house. And I love how these are finished on with magnets and washers so you can just really swap, swap them out really easily. But remember, I was missing the bow for this. Um, had that cute little crocheted um, snowflake on the top but it needed this ribbon which I got this also from Michaels it's a really pretty velvet and they had a lot of colors and I may go back and get some more of that I really liked it so this is the winter house um fabric came from Hobby Lobby it's just some flannel yeah cute felt accomplished cute finding the bow that I you know how sometimes you have something in your mind and then you can't find it that's me all the time so yeah, and to get my FFO stuff, I think I've talked about this before, half of Cutter's Closet is his stuff, and because he has a huge closet, and half of it's my stuff, crafting, FFOing stuff. And to get into that closet the other day, I was like, mm, mm. Cutter's been just shoving stuff in there. He's been really busy lately, so I'm not going to get mad. His room is clean, but he does need to kind of address the closet a little bit, so. He's about to move off to college, oh my yeah. goodness. So my first one is Wordplay. By Bernard Gervais. Um, finished on a little tin tray I got from Hobby Lobby several years ago, but it's magnetic, so I like that. You can take all the little pieces on and off. Um, has a little Easter pick uh, with some doodads, some eggs, a little rabbit that I painted and polka dotted it with some blue and green and um, I converted my own colors on that that is stitched on a piece of color and cotton fabric that came in a um, monthly subscription I believe last year I don't know the name of it and um, I finally dug out my Rick Rack remember we bought some yes. Rick Rack from color and cotton I finally got to use that um, so I added the little Rick Rack on there that's and a cute detail I like that thank you a little pink Rick Rack um, and then the little fabric Behind it, I think it's Spring Chick fabric line, which I forgot I bought a bunch of that, but those colors mm, were really good for yeah, spring. Yeah, great Easter colors. Super cute. Thank you. So, I finished my work play, too, for March. And I'm still using this tray. So, and I'm considering painting this tray. Like like a dry brush kind Yeah, of. just like a little yeah. whitewash is what I was thinking. So this is my March wordplay, also by Brenda Gervais. Um, where did we get this fabric? Hobby Lobby or yes. Joanne's? Hobby Lobby. Didn't we? We went both places, and I can't remember. I don't know. I was, Forgive I was so me. distracted by the girl at Joanne's coughing on oh, her stuff. Oh, good grief. I, I know. I don't remember what we bought there. I probably did buy this at Joanne's and then immediately sanitized it with Lysol. Um, that's another story. <laughs> so, um, ooh, I couldn't even tell you what I finished this on. 
and or and I pulled all my own colors too. So if you have questions about that, let me know and I can try to look them up. I think I did make notes of all those. Remember we were in that we were in a wordplay group that Teresa started. Yeah. So a lot of those are over on Facebook. I just kind of kept it simple on that. I thought the that plaid fabric, I didn't want to do too much. With all the colors going on. Oh. We are finishing queens. This I already know is crooked. Stop. Stop <laughs> I can already tell me, but finished is better than perfect. So I've had this piece stitched for I know four years. And every Easter I'm like, oh, I should FFO it. Never get around to it. Well, this year was the year. So I stitched this on a piece of pink or piece of Ada that I dyed pink myself. Um, I don't remember even what the chart is. I'm not sure if it was a freebie somewhere. I could not find anything on it in my, it's been so long. So um, I put a little bit of batting behind it, um, glued it to this little piece of fabric I stuck on um, mat board. I outlined the little stomach of the bunny. Um, bunny and glued it all together and put the little bow up there. This uh, came from Hobby Lobby. The little rabbit came from it's Hobby really Lobby. Cute. It's Chelsea's checks. Yes. For the blue and white check. Yes. We get a little closer. So the stitching is really cute. Thank cute you. Cute little egg. I love the rabbit. That was perfect for this. Thank you. I'm like, what next? So many FFOs. So this was another start and finish. Aren't you proud of me? I am. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Um, this was stitching with the housewives. Here comes Peter Cottontail. I stitched it on Wild Mint by Atomic Ranch um, with the called for floss. Although I did make a couple of changes. I added purple, which was a color in cotton. Purple. I took out the red. I just, I felt like the pastels fit my, like, mm -hmm color palette more and then um I put I made the little pot that the bunnies hold in at terracotta color a lot of people are asking me about this color that I used for the lettering and that is hunter by coloring cotton so um all those conversions too are up on Instagram if you want to look at them but this is that um piece that I used for my Floyd and Flurry um so I got double purpose out of it and again I kind of kept it simple I was thinking about maybe adding a bow like up here at the top of the hanger to kind of cover up my hook that's on the wall mm -hmm. um but hey I got to display it she's up I count that a win um you'll have to grab my next piece because I won't be able to hold it my, okay, my the uh, big dog yes Your Peter so Cottontail. my Peter Cottontail is finished on a piece that I have had for several years I, it came from Hobby Lobby I know and I don't even remember what originally I think Priscilla had stitched something that went on this um, originally and I never got around to stitching it and putting it all together so one of the things I am trying to be better at is using the things I already have instead of buying new FFOing items so I um, stitched this on black 28 count even weave um, I think I think I switched out my colors, just kind of what I had on hand, but they're pretty similar to what the call for colors were. I finished it with, again, this is a pink color of that um, Spring Chicks fabric line that I got from Fat Quarter Shop. I added in the yellow rickrack from Color and Cotton behind it, and then above it, I purchased a, um, it was just a little green wreath, and I had a bunch of those little eggs left over from decorating my hutch, so I just kind of hot glued those in to add and then it's just glued on with a string and I thought about there's a couple charts that are the same size in her um, mm -hmm. thing so like 4th of July I could do a patriotic wreath Christmas I could do a Christmas wreath and just use the same piece over and over and I don't think I'm gonna hang it on my wall I think I have an area in my living room that I can just set it up on this table in the corner area so it'll kind of just be like a big statement piece super cute on top of that and so. it's on like a shutter it's like a barn door. Yeah, I, really cute. I don't know. It's yeah, because it's got the hinges and stuff yeah. in there. A little latch. Super cute. I love Thank it. You. I like that big recrack. I had to iron that. Really, imagine that. But <laughs> it was, when it came out of the, the bag, it was really wrinkly, and it took me quite a while to get it to lay flat. So, 
I'm like scared because I feel like I'm setting up a booby trap that these are going to fall. Okay, I'm going to show this while I'm up. I love that. Guess what? I got a finish and I didn't cut it in half. <laughs> so this is, um, I'm sorry. You're okay. Bent Creek. Let me get in front of you yeah. maybe. Bent Creek. Um, is it called Easter Row? I'm not sure. I think it's called Easter Row. Hippity hoppity. Easter's on its way is what it says. Um, I'm stitching like basically all the charts in this series and finishing them in this little box I got from Michaels. I got it on like super clearance. That's that cute little plaid fabric again. I believe that one did come from Joann's. Um, yes, it has the flu on it. Sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then I just took these little Easter eggs. These were picks and I actually glued a washer on the bottom of them just so that they wouldn't fall and gave them a little bit of weight. Good idea. Um, so yeah, I just glued a washer for a little bit of weight on there and then I just, you know, kind of set them in there. So, um, I don't know what all the colors were or what the fabric was for this, but I'm sure I have it written down somewhere if anyone's interested in it. I believe what I used was a color and cotton thread pack. Yeah. And did. then this fabric I'm pretty sure is Cream and Sugar by Fiber on a Whim. I'm pretty sure. But anyway, if you are interested, let me know and I'll I'll look it up and know for sure. Okay. Okay, so more finishes. One of the Can other believe? things. <laughs> oh, I forgot to bring that paint with me. I was gonna give you the paint. Oh. Next so time. one of the things, hold those two little guys up, mm -hmm. that I worked on was finishing the little uh, doodads that go on the top of the weigh-in scale that uh, Paisley and Polka Dots has for Priscilla's um, weigh-in series. So I painted all these little guys, got them all done, and so I, um, what is that, January? Ooh, January is the snowman. January, February. March or April, you can switch it out because I guess Easter falls either or month, depending on. Mm -hmm. So, but I did those, and then I also completely FFO'd. FFO'd the big piece. The um, February. Let's see if I can set that up there without. Oh, we are testing my skills. You got it, girl. You got it. Let's see. So the February weigh-in, I converted my own colors on this. I will. Um, put those on Instagram. I'm going to take a picture of this and I'll list those within the next couple days. Um, hopefully by the weekend. And the fabric behind that is whatever the stripes fabric line is called that Priscilla has. I'm not sure what's it called. Do you know? I don't. I can't remember. Anyway, that's the fabric line. And, um, yeah. Kind of like a ticking stripe. It's yeah. red, red and white. Cute. It's so funny because I finished the top piece first and then I finished this one and I had the lines going the opposite direction as one, but this piece <laughs> is not exactly square. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like I could just flip it. I had to cut a whole new piece and get a whole new piece of fabric. It was a whole whatever. Isn't that how it goes sometimes? I wanted to look at it myself. I'll have to go back and watch our video. Okay, I'm not gonna break this. That was some, um, you know, yesterday I counted all my yard work as a workout, but today I'm gonna count showing all these finishes <laughs> as a workout. Cause my arms are tired y'all okay yeah i don't exercise a lot stitching doesn't count does it one more ffo for me i think can you believe i got this done <laughs> this is primrose cottage stitches hive rules megan and i stitched this i almost ffo'd my piece and i was just the glue gun was cooled off. I said, "Don't you were You were done. Well, um, I didn't do all my FFOing in one day this time. I did a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit there, and I think it was I was encouraged because I wanted to decorate. So you know, when you have that incentive, kind of helps. But um, finally got this one done. So did I do this on magnets and washers? I can't remember. I just glued it down. Yeah, I did. I did do it on magnets and washers in case I wanted to use this piece again. So this frame, I actually got it at Goodwill for $4.49. You guys know how I like to thrift from time to time. 
Um, I went ahead and finished it on a piece of foam core again because it was long, longer than I had sticky board for. I did much better cutting my foam core. I got a really sharp X-Acto knife and I used my straight edge and then um, for the backing fabric, I actually kind of cheated. I'm not going to get super close on it, but instead of mounting it on board, I actually just kind of ran it flat like I was making a bias band, but I didn't actually sew it. I just glued it. So it's actually just like a welt, kind of like a French welt um, on the glued to the back of the, the other piece. And then I made a cute little bow out of some ribbon I got from Michaels, I think. That was another one from Michaels because I thought, well, that one might have worked for my winter piece. You know how sometimes you're like, well, I had it with me, but sometimes you just got to make it to know how it's going to turn out. So, but I used that little bow and, um, we got this fabric last year at Hobby Lobby, this little check. You know that I was looking for that and I was like, I know we bought some fabric for that. Mm -hmm. I can't find mine. I'll locate it. It's somewhere in a bag, I'm sure. So I stitched this on fiber on a whim, cream and sugar. I have, I did use mostly the call for colors on it, but I do know that my LNS didn't have some of them. And so like I grabbed the color that was like right next to it in the DMC row, but I probably honestly don't have those written down. So if mine looks a little different than yours, that's okay, right? <laughs> um, I think we need to send out a neighborhood memo to not mow. To quit we need running the right dadgum recording floss tube. Leaf blower while we're trying to record a video. Um, I know, you want me to run out there and yell at them? <laughs> I'm kidding. No. I'm kidding. I really don't usually do that. I feel worn out. I feel like we just ran a marathon. That was a marathon of stitching for sure. I mean, finished finished pieces. Is that the most we've ever shown? Probably so. I think that's the most I've ever done in a month. Um, before this gets lost on the table, I know Ching Ling watches our videos and I haven't seen you, but Lisa gave me my little gift that you um, brought to the stitch niche and thank you so very much it's so kind of you i can't wait to come back and see you guys and use my little gift card You're yes too kind. ching ling is our friend she last time i got to see her at stitch niche she did um like a chinese new year celebration for us which was so sweet she gave us all gift cards to stitch niche so we're looking forward to spending those and she also made chinese food i'm sad you missed out on that she's super sweet though and we have such a great group of gals that we love to stitch mm -hmm. with. I've missed them. We need oh, to yeah. try to get stitch niche next week. Haul? haul? What's next? I don't have a lot of haul. Haul, y'all. Um, I don't have a lot of haul. I I'm have not been gonna really lie. good. About, I got a lot of haul. I've been really good. I've been trying to save my pennies because I know we're going to Shepherd's Needle and um, Pine... Pine needles and shepherd's bush. Shepherd's bush pine needles. Yeah. Um, we are looking forward to that when we go up to Utah. Yes. And even though I've been on a um, no pattern freeze, I've been doing so good with that. Um, so that's also limited my haul. But I know when I go to shepherd's bush. Um, You're going to be buying some charts. Yeah. And there's, there's okay. no way. It's okay. It's there's a commemorative no thing. Oh, I, I am going to have to buy a pattern. This is a cool story. So, um. Corey's grandmother, she, her husband passed away in 2021, and then shortly after that, she has kind of de developed dementia, and she's in a nursing home and stuff now, so she's had to sell her home. The home that they had was the first one built in the cul-de-sac um, in that area back before all the city had built up around it, so um, she is a dual citizen from Ireland. And, um, so. anyway, the other night I came home and opened up Facebook and a girl that I had gone to school with from elementary to high school, she posted that her and her family were moving back, I believe from California, I can't remember, to, um, the area. And so she, I looked and it was her family and they were standing in front of Nana's house and I was like, oh my gosh, they bought Nana's house. So that is so they, cool. I, I messaged them and told them, you know, all the things and, um, they both, her and her husband both responded and said, 
once we get settled in, we would love for you to come by and see the home. We've updated a lot of things. You're more than welcome. If it was our grandparents, we would, you know, we would feel the same nostalgia and please, you know, take us up on this offer. We want you to come. So, um, I'm going to buy a pattern, um, that's maybe like an Irish blessing of some sort and stitch it to give to them since Nana was Irish and just kind of bless their home with the Irish pattern. So I love that idea. That's yeah. so cool. I saw some really cool Irish patterns during um, St. Patrick's Day. I was kind of cruising through Instagram looking at different ones that I might want to put in a dough bowl, but I saw some really cool framed ones. I need to look and really find something that catches, catches your eye. My eye. Yeah. So um, first thing on haul that I have is the coloring cotton fabric club and floss. So that is a piece, I forget the name of the color, 36 oh. counts. It's on the back. I'm gonna open it. Okay. Hold your ears. Crinkle, crinkle. Lapis medium. Yes. <laughs> Lapis medium. It's a really pretty blue. It I'm is. I'm sure I can find something to go on that pretty it quick, reminds easily. reminds me of that yeah. um, cobalt from Fiber on a Limb. And then these are the flosses for the month. You can open and show them. Okay. I'll pull these out while you do those. These are the March Primitive Neutrals from Color and Cotton. We have Gold Crest. <laughs> the buzzing. I don't know if they can even hear it. But well, you can't do <laughs> someone, Sorry. Someone is leaf blowing like, like it's their job. Bronze. Or their hobby. They're just having a really good time. Bear Copper. Hay Bale. And Eggnog. It's a pretty... Those are pretty colors. And then... Which one was this? The All Threads. All, all colors. All colors. She gets 10 skeins. So... I think that now they're starting to do like more of their color line, normal color line flosses instead of just limited editions. So that's exciting. It is exciting. So Chimney Sweep. That's one of my favorite blacks to stitch with. Chimney Sweep by uh, Color and Cotton. It is a very, um, it's dark, but it has a little bit of like a soot. Mm -hmm. So it's gray. But it's not real gray. It, it just, it's perfect for any kind of Christmas, but you want like a rusticy look santa's boots some mm -hmm. hot cocoa silver lining pale ochre and old lace yeah those are great i mean take those and put those in any project right and then these are the brights that i also got they're not it's just the all colors yeah to clarify. Um, pickle. That's a good green. That I stitched that in the February weigh-in and everyone keeps asking what the green was, so it's the pickle. I have it pulled out too, because I asked you what it was. Um, Cardinal, which is bright, pretty red. I've used that one before. I have my favorite red from Color and Cotton is the Carmine. It's pretty. I don't know if I've used that one. Um, this is Salamander, which is orange. Bumblebee and marina very pretty so you're really that's all your haul that's pretty much yeah i am so proud of you but you also didn't go to stitch niche all month so <laughs> i've also had to buy yearbooks that are hundred dollars a piece for two kids and a senior yearbook ad that i had to do last night and let me tell you that was a whole emotional thing i was fine until i called my friend and i said hey can i read this to you to make sure my grammar and everything's okay and i read the first sentence and just started bawling and she's like are you okay i'm like no it just hit me all of a sudden <sighs> so i've been spending a fortune on senior. senior pictures are coming up next week that's an arm and a leg and half a toe so plus the trips just to get down to school and all that well i didn't have a senior so <laughs> i bought all <laughs> so um, I ordered some more project bags. I'm sorry, the tags are jingly. I should have kept them tucked in. This is from our friend Sheba Designs in Canada again. She had some more bags. Melissa, thank you so much. She, um, she sent some little stickers. 
I love that. I will be putting these in my book of days. Some cute little stickers. That's so kind. I know. It's always fun to get a little something extra. Mm -hmm. A little bouquet of daisies. That's cute. So the first project bag is this black Teresa Kogut fabric, which I could not resist with the cute bunnies. Adorable. And seasonally appropriate. Not seasonally appropriate, but I love these colors. This one it has little houses and it, oh, I just, it's everything fall. Um, I'm going to put my tiny modernist, that little, what is that called? Something sampler. It's obviously a fall chart. And then I couldn't resist this one either. I love that one. Isn't this pretty? So it looks quilted, but it's actually just a print of a quilt. Oh, colors again. Just got me. So, yep, bought some bags. I went to Stitch Niche and bought floss because I was stitching spring stuff. So I have a skein of avocado by the Gentle Arts. Have they changed their names? The Gentle Art Sampler Threads. Some no, of their, they've changed their Some of their tags tag. say something different. Classic Color Works Orangina. This one is like a pink and orange mix. Isn't that fun? Mm -hmm. um, I have some of that. Deep Fennel by Classic Color Works. That's pretty. And then I had Pickle sitting out from Color and Cotton because I was kidding up some spring things. Um, I have not been on a chart freeze. <laughs> so we were talking about our friend Sherry at Creative Keep Studio. Sherry, thank you so much. She went to market and she was like, do you want anything? And I was like, oh, twist All of my it. arm. <laughs> I know, I, I didn't go too crazy, but I found some things that I really wanted. So speaking of Tiny Modernist, um, I got this spring chicken. Have you seen this? No. I'm going to pass them over. I thought he was oh, yeah, really I have. cute. Yes. Um, from October House, I got Pollinator's Garden, and I know so many people are already stitching this. Um, good for y'all. I thought that one was fun. This is in my top charts from Market. This one's really cute. And from Kathy Barrick, I couldn't resist resist this. I don't know. I've been in a sampler mood. Peace and Peace and Plenty Farm. Who doesn't love a bunch of big houses and animals? I like that blue house. I was looking on this pollinator one to see what the fabric it was stitched on. Dusty Rose by Seraphim. Mm. It's pretty. And then I've been in a sampler mood, I told you. Um, this is a Stitch in Time Save Nine. Saves Nine, excuse me. Or Once Around the Floss Box. Is that? By Shakespeare's Peddler. That's the um, one you said to me. Yes, I, I know. I'm like, can I show I thought this? that the back or the front was the... This is the chart. It's this little guy. So they have a bunch of... It's cute the way that they... But she was like, I don't know what the chart was. Um, yeah, I thought the big thing of flowers was the chart. It reminded me like of an old uh, Dimensions. It's this. Okay. Isn't it cute? Yeah. Yeah, I know you're not a sampler stitcher, but you can still pretend it's cute. <laughs> Um, and then Sherry said, well, I got some fabric. Do you want any fabric? And twist my arm. So fabrics by Stephanie, uh, Caramel Macchiato. Um, and I got this, I got 40 count. I don't know what possessed me to get 40 count. I like some 40 count. Um, and then she said, I think you need the cookbook. I know a lot of people are buying this. Happiness is homemade. The Nashville Needlework Market cookbook. It's got all kinds of um, obviously recipes in it, and then there is um, cross stitch. That's like, cute. Almost every page has a little stitch, so these will be fun for like dough bowl fills and stuff like that. And then I shopped a lot the last month. Um, I got my coloring cotton thread pack, which we already showed from Megan, and then I get the neutral fabrics. So my fabric is drizzle. Rizzle by Color and Cotton. Look how pretty that is. Another pale blue gray. 
I want this uh, Lasour pea salad they have in here. I was going to say. By Lois McA McMaster from Copper's Cove, Texas. What are you making <laughs> Your pea there? salad looks delicious there, Lo Lois. We were just talking about pea salad the other night. Remember on our floss, I on our I love a call? good pea salad. I thought that was fun. So, I told you I've been in a sampler mood, and I, Blackbird is calling my name, like everything Blackbird. So, I got on, um... Colorado Cross Stitchers website and ordered some Blackbird charts. Forgive me. My heart's design is this book. And I got Away We Ride by Blackbird Designs also. Um, apparently I want it to be fall, even though it's not. Um, Sherry's um, Cross Stitch Shop is up in... Um, near the mountains, so the mountains are calling and I must go. Love that little sticker. Have to add him to my Stanley mug. <coughs> Sorry. No problem. I got, um, I have been wanting these for so long. They're um, floss drops from Thread Milk. I always wanna say Milk Thread. Thread Milk. Um, they're little milk caps and they're so cute. So I've been, as I have been um, kidding at Project, I've been putting my DMC on these. And so these are the colors from Emily Call's um, St. Patty's, the St. Patrick's chart I stitched, but I think those are so stinking cute. I wanna see them. And then um, I also added to cart um, this cute little thread milk design ruler. I was holding it upside down. I wanted you to be able to see the words. I love that little buffalo check ribbon on there. So um, I have been <laughs> cutting my floss. There was a huge squirrel that just like I know he I went across like, the, the world, the uh, <laughs> fence. I've been cutting my floss down, which I realize that I'm usually stitching with three feet, like a yard of floss, and not 18 inches. Because <laughs> when I started cutting them down, I was like, this is short. Um, I need a consult. I need to know if you think I should stitch Away We Ride on this Bayou by Volcano, or if you think it's too dark. So. Too dark. I think it's too dark. Okay. Um, Katie, so tattered, enabled me to buy this Kim Deal book, Simple Harvest. So, you know, that sewing machine is calling my name. I bought that actually on, I found it on, um, it's pretty. Thrift, thrift books? Yeah, so it was like a used one. Can't beat that. And then... I see a recipe for some donuts in here. I must be hungry today. I'm, oh, those look good. That chocolate icing, count me in. I know there's all kinds of fun. Oh, that is Like cute. wool projects in there, quilts, um, table runners, this and that. Sorry, I don't know if I can hold that up very well, but that is cute. Am I in there? Yeah, you're in there. That is so cute. Those little felt. They're penny rounds, right? I believe so. Penny yeah. garland. Yeah, I saw that too. Adorable. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in there that I want to stitch. Um, oh, look. Floss just <laughs> hanging out. Um, my friend Tammy had a D-stash. Uh, she had posted in one of the D-stash groups on Facebook, and she had this cute little bag from Penny and Toonie, which is, like, the coronation. I'm calling it the coronation bag. So it's got, like, the Beefeaters and all like, things London, Big Ben. And I wanted this bag when Penny and Toonie put it out, but I drug my feet getting it, and they sold out. So pretty excited that Tammy had that. We'll see if we can find Kate Middleton on this bag. Where is Kate Middleton? Does anyone know? <laughs> Where in the world is Kate Middleton? Um, then Melanie Henson put up some project bags. I'm always like, did I get this off the Cross Stitch D Stash page or did I go to Etsy? And I'm not sure and I'm sorry, but Melanie Henson or the Stitchy Sassanac um, on Etsy, she had this cute little bag with which is so springtime with the little flowers yeah. and the little rain boots and um, little flower pots, watering cans. So, yep. How ne adorable. Needed that. Um, does the haul go on? I think that's all. I think that's all the haul. All the haul. 
Well, I did pretty good. Five project bags in one month. Oops. So what's coming up? Plans, you mean? Yes. Um, well, I have some plans. Definitely stitch all things spring. Um, I'm going to organize this before I hand it back to you. Okay, I'm fine with that. I'll let you. I have... I have to finish my Gilmoreisms because there's just going to be one more chart net left next week. So, you know, I've kept up with that. So why not finish that? Which is bittersweet when it comes to an end, you know? Yeah. Like you're excited to finish it, but sad it's ending. I've never done a mystery sal before. So, like, that was something to look forward to on Monday morning. It's like, you know, when you normally don't want to get up and get going, but you're like, there's something fun in my email. I can go check that. <laughs> um, it was like a present every Monday. Um, so I'll finish that. Um, you know, I had talked about doing a lint stitch and Teresa said, um, cause I missed doing it and obviously, and she said, well, I'm going to do a Holy Week stitch. So maybe I'm going to start God is good. The Teresa Kogut pattern for Holy Week. And I realized it's a big project. I might join y'all because I've been looking for a time to start my um, Plum Street. What's the name of it? With with the church, Jesus loves. No, not that one. The pink, um, like the pink bricked, how uh, Holly stitched it and framed it. I know what it is, but I I can't think. God shed is great now. Uh, anyway, I'm. Maybe I'll join y'all and start that chart then. I've been wanting to stitch it. That sounds Missy good. Missy was stitching it. So if anybody wants to stitch a Holy Week project with us, um, I think we'll we'll start it on Palm Sunday and stitch it through Easter yeah. week, maybe. Um, and what else did I have on my list? If, I have... If you're going to join us um, for our April stitch at the library, it's not going to be on the third Friday at, like normal. It's going to be on the fourth because they had their room um, booked. So... I did have that written down. Okay. So it's um, moved to April 26th, um, the following week. From, and hopefully I can make it to that one. I hope so too. And what else do I have planned? I want to finish Take Me Out to the Ball Game. So I'm not going to take that out of the hoop. I am going to finish it so I can take that to the framer. All right, I'm going to give you a challenge. Oh. you got to get that done before opening day. Okay. I can if do not, that. you're going to curse the Rangers not to win anything this year. But I'm going to have go. to put... Oh, gosh. She just put a hex on my Rangers. Um, yeah, that's a motivation. And then, okay, so I'm maybe... i manifested it out there now. So, so. maybe we're doing beads for guys because I don't know if I can do 27,000 French nods before then. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to get out because you said I should get this out. Because Teresa was stitching oh, yeah. it. This is um, a whip that I've had going for a little bit too long. Um, Farm Life by Little House Needleworks. Um, and actually, I'm not stitching the whole pattern. I am cut off the words. So I'm just stitching the barn and some of the um, garden. So I'm mm -hmm. trying to finish that. Um... I don't know what all plans I have. I'm going to, of course, finish my weigh-in for March. I think I might take a break from the weigh-ins for a little bit and stitch on, start some other things. I've been really wanting to do a couple more new starts out of my 24 tote. I need to do some more starts. So I don't know what I'm going to pull out of there, but um, something good. I was going to show this because I did have it out. This was the, this is what I think I'm going to stitch for Holy Week. God is good by Teresa Kogut. Look at this. This is no joke. Like, we talked about not stitching the grass, but even I'm have still. have a neighbor come over that's mowing the grass. He's going to need to mow this grass. There's so much. Look at all that fill. That's crazy. I'm not stitching that grass. Like, Are you stitching it on green fabric? Oh, yeah, thank the remember Lord. I had this green fabric, <laughs> which is Water Spirit by Seraphim, which is really pretty. Um, but. Now you're going to need something. Can we just talk about this fill? Just, and this outlining, this would have been a good punch needle pattern. Um, um, it might be one too. It probably is. And I, 
I might look and see if it is. Because we, we kind of wanted to punch needle. If it is, I might. I don't know. You know, I was talking about not pressing the gas, not pressing the gas, pressing the gas, but thinking about what I'm doing a little bit before I <laughs> bite off more than I can chew. It's a big project. It's pretty. It is really pretty. I love it. I love everything about it. I love the chicken. I love the cat. I love the houses, the flag, the heart in the middle. But I'm a little overwhelmed by it. Oh, one more thing. I'm going to stitch. I can't show that because that's a chart, right? Right. Even though it's a freebie? Even though it's a freebie, yeah. Okay, so... In 2020, Teresa Kogut did a freebie from Nashville um, that said create every day. And it's it's like a lot of people are stitching it kind of rainbow. And um, Nicole Spore did a thread pack for it um, with color and cotton. And so I bought this and um, I can show this little basket. So I was telling Megan... Our zone for where we film floss tube is my dining table, and I have been leaving out a lot of cross-stitch stuff just because it's like haul, and I know we're going to show it eventually, and it was kind of getting a little bit feeling cluttered, and so I found this basket in my garage. This is a giant basket, but it's like perfect for, it's like the perfect size for project bags. So I started leaving this basket out, and I decided I'm going to stitch that little create every day on this purple fabric with this floss pack um, from Nicole Spore and put that on the side of the basket. So that's like my... That leg warmer's color, I just used that in something. Oh, I think that might be what I'm using in my March weigh-in. I like it. It's, it's pretty. really bright. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna stitch that for this little basket. That is my haul and whip situation. Yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of plans. What, we were going to talk a little bit, just a smidgen, about uh, Nashville. What, Speaking what of were some of your Nashville, thought patterns that you liked from Nashville? Well, obviously the ones I bought. Um, <laughs> but I had more. And I can't look at them because they're on my phone. Oh, well. I have pictures. Um, but we can insert the pictures. We can do a little slideshow of our favorite charts from Nashville. Needle I'm just going to say my market. three that I liked was... Um, the pollinator chart. Pollinator's Garden uh -huh. from October House. And then, um, is it called Sleigh Ride by Praiseworthy? You, yeah. The big Christmas one. That one that was, was really cute. And then I'm going to say um, Aaron Elizabeth had a church. Yes. Like a, I, that one's really pretty. I had that one There's on a lot too. of great ones, but I'm going to say just off the top of my head, the top three that... That come to mind yeah. when you just think back on it. I know I saved quite a few pictures, and then I was trying to be good, but Sherry was like... I'm at Nashville, and I wasn't going to say no. Um, yeah, we'll put a little slideshow in of those. Some of our faves. What else? I haven't watched a lot of floss tube just here and there because I've been watching trash TV. Yeah, she is. <laughs> She's Teresa been hooked. and Missy, we have just been hooked on Love is Blind and we started back at like season two because that was one of those shows I watched during COVID. And let me tell you, this is so far out of my wheelhouse of what I watch. I am not, but when COVID, you know, we didn't have nothing going on. So I did season one and I got sucked in. And then that was that. I let it go. Time went on. The world kept, you know, we went on about life. We went that. back to. Yeah. Somewhat of normalcy. And so I don't even know. I think Teresa might have mentioned that she was going to start season two. I was like, well, I guess, you know, I could do that as well. And so 
here we are every night talking about all these people that we don't know, but we have very strong opinions about their <laughs> choices in life. I haven't gotten reeled in yet, you guys. I just keep I'm, it in I'm my trying binders. Still. I'm trying she still. She keeps telling me, like, she's she's trying to, would it dangle the carrot? of? No, like, I'm going to bring the gold goblet. If you've ever seen the show, you'll know what I mean. <laughs> 100%. That's 100%. all I know from the show. <laughs> okay, so I have been watching some vlogs too. Let's see. Oh, yesterday Krista put out a new um, video, the Wildflower Stitcher, and I have to say I enjoyed all of her finishes, but then also at the end she um, showed a slideshow of her wildflower tour that she usually goes on each year down here in Texas in the hill country. Um, and it was so fun because showed all the fun wildflowers, the blue bonnets, the poppies, whatever else, um, the Indian paintbrushes. But she also enjoyed a lot of pie on those trips. Oh, that sounds good. I was I'm like, hungry. I was, I'm hungry too. I feel like my stomach is about to start growling. Um, but I was like, man, I want a piece of pie now. Um, I watched... The Sable Stitchers, I watched So Tattered, Teresa, The Garden Goose Stitcher, Hobbies of Holly, she mm -hmm. put out her second video, it was super cute. I know. I love seeing her face. I know, because we never get to see her without her mask, so when I see her with her face, I just smile. I know, me too. Um, I watched Olivia Pumpkin Hollow Quilts, I watched Saltbox Stitcher, Sarah's Stitchery, I don't know when, I should have drawn a line for when the last floss tube was. I watched um, Missy and Kathy, Two Needles Pulling Thread. I did watch theirs. I watched b and Stitchery. Mm-hmm, I did. Um, they cracked me up. Yes. I watched, um, I tried to go and watch some that I hadn't seen before. You had mentioned Stitching by the Lake. Um, I watched, um, Linen and Scraps, I have watched them before, but I went and watched Hollis Hands Create, um, Christine. I went and watched her floss tube. I had never seen one of hers before. Um, I watched Snug Harbor Crafts. Um, we're getting excited about going up to Stitch West. Um, I watched Kia B. Mm -hmm. um, the Museum Stitcher, she's local to us um, in Fort Worth so wild I'm like I kind of wanted to show up at the museum and be like um is the museum stitcher here <laughs> you know it's funny I was at Hobby Lobby yesterday and there was a girl checking out across the way from me and I'm getting a little bit more brave because I saw her with a whole handful of floss and I thought does she need to be our friend because <laughs> I like new friends heck yes but then she had a little one that she was dealing with in the buggy and I didn't want to distract her but that's funny that you say that because, where was I? I was somewhere random. Oh, I was at the post office and I saw a lady that had a like cross stitch um, decal on the back of her car and I was about to run her down like, hey, wait, I cross stitch too. I start honking at her and she gives you the finger. <laughs> yeah, I thought it might be too much running after her at the post office, but you can meet stitchy friends anywhere. Um, I watched the Carolina Stitchers, mm -hmm. Lost Our Needles, Helen D, Sarah's Stitchery. Oh my gosh, I watched so many. Mrs. Jones Stitches. Um, there was a new one I watched, and I meant to write it down. I'm going to remember it next time because she was cute. And oh. um, she had actually mentioned us in her floss tube, and I cannot remember what her name was. I thought Do I you have it have written it down? I'm, I'm, you look, keep talking. okay, I'm I look watched maybe on my phone. Running with Scissors, Stitching with Jane and Julie. And Jane, we hope that you're feeling better. Um, I know it's been a struggle um, being sick, but it was so good to see your face the other night on our Zoom. And um, I hope that you're on the mend now. And um, I watched Floss Boss and Cousins. I watched Chantel. Oh my goodness. I was, um, oh, I watched Lori Wilson with Thread Milk Designs. I'm try I don't remember how long this list goes back. You guys, I'm sorry. I should have rewatched our last floss tube and figured that out. But um, I watched Cross Stitch the Globe um, and Memphis Sarah E. And the Camping Stitcher. Um, oh, my goodness. 
and I'm sure there were probably more that I didn't grab my notebook and write them down. But you guys, there's so much great floss tube out there to watch. Um, and we want to say thank you so much for always um, tuning back in and watching us. Um, if you haven't subscribed, we'd love for you to be a subscriber to our channel. We pretty much are putting out videos like oh monthly, roughly. Mm -hmm. But um, we were trying to do them at the end of the month and then life happened. And so we just kind of adjusted our schedule to... So it'd be a good idea to turn on the notification button since we're not on a tight, hard schedule. What else? I I know that we're going to think of 20 things like we always do after we push stop. But... <laughs> Um, do you have any stitchy plans? I kind of took over talking about stitchy no, plans. No, I mean, I do, but that's... I, I talked a little bit about it. Your way I mean, in and... I think I'm going to give those a break for a little bit and then um, start some new things. But you got to finish that one that you're almost done Oh, yeah, with, I'm right? going to finish that one. Okay. But I don't think I'm going to start April and May. Um, yeah. I think I'm going to give Just a break. take a little break. Sometimes it's good to give a... a I feel like... Um, I don't ever want it to start feeling like homework, you know? Like, then that's just not fun. It kind of takes the fun out of it. Um, so we talked about the library being the next weekend. Oh, that's all the notes I had. I'm watching March Madness. Oh, yeah. I'm ready for those LSU Tiger women. Lady Tigers to win a back-to-back -back championship. That sounds fun. No, I, I hope they do well, but may come with a lot of controversy. I think this time, for the first time ever, the women's is going to outsell the men's, have more viewers. So, there's that. That's exciting. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what else. Just, it sounds like we need to start packing for our retreat here. I've already started washing my stuff. And I need to make a list. That's what, what are you I need taking project-wise? That's what I, I think I'm going to take my um, fall, whatever it is, hawk run. Mm-hmm. Because you can do a lot of fill. And then I think I'm going to start two new projects. I I, be. I'm going to take my Primrose, um, the the last house in that sit, that little house series, mm -hmm. the summer house. So it's like the patriotic one. Because I always think it's fun to start something by who you're, you know, mm -hmm. the designer that you're with at the time. Kind of makes it mem more memorable. Um, that's really all I thought. That's as far as I've thought. <laughs> I better start packing. Yeah, the list is usually, after I make the list, everything else goes pretty quickly. It's well, just the list. I'm excited to have our new bog bags. Yeah. Those are going to make packing the stitchy stuff I'm easier. praying that the um, elevation yes. is kind to me. I've not been at a higher elevation so with my lungs, I hope that it works. We're for prayerful. Us. I'm nervous about that. We're prayerful. Be in prayer with us about our trip. That Megan's health is not a challenge. And It'll work out. We'll take it slow. I think that's kind of what most people say is just don't get in a rush and stay hydrated. They say yes. hydrate beforehand. Drink, drink, drink. So, Lots of water. And I could. I, I I always think like, I'm sure there's plenty of people with my issues that have visited there. I mean. There's not a sign at the airport that says, if you have my SNU Gravis, turn around now. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> we hope that we'll never put that sign up. No, it'll be fine. We'll just take it slow. We're not in a rush. We're just going to have a good time and go stitch and shop and meet the Primrose girls. Yeah, that would be that's fun. Exciting. And everybody else, I think um, Michelle e. Quilts will be there, so we'll get to see her again and... I know there's a couple of people that I've wanted to meet before that are going to be there, so it's going to be exciting. Yeah. I think Java Girl is going to be there. Yeah, drop us a comment if you're coming to Stitch West. Yes, We'd please. We'd love to meet up and say hi. Mm hmm And I think that's all we have. That's all, y'all. Until next time, see you later. Happy stitching. Bye.